Hello everyone, Drew here with another how-to video. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this and here it is. How to do the Korean stabilizer modding method or the Korean stab mod method. Before we start, I would like to give a shout out to Kenyans who streams on Twitch and taught me this method. I will have a link down below for you guys so please go follow and check out his stream to watch his awesome keyboard contents. Also, Kimchi Jody Boy has a written document on this mod method, which I will link in the description below. His written instructions will also help you guide you through the process. In my opinion, stabilizer modding is the most important part of building a nice custom keyboard. You can use whatever switch you like, but if your stabilizer is sound bad, your build will not be complete. In this video, I would like to show you how to mod your stabs from this to this. I do stream on Twitch, Wednesdays and Fridays, so if there are things that aren't clear in this video for you, please feel free to jump into chat and ask. Also, follow me on my socials which I will have a link down below to see more keyboard related contents. First off, let me tell you that the stab mod method will only work on Zeal, Cherry, GMK, and Gon stabs, and won't work with Duroc stabs. The difference between the two type of stabs is the little thin film that you see here on the Zeal stab that I've prepared. So why do this mod? Well, by doing so, it removes the rattle issues when using your mod keys and also removes any clicks or ticks that you may experience when pressing your mod keys. Is this mod method hard to do? Initially, yes, but once you get a hang of it, it'll definitely get easier. So here's what you need to prepare for the Korean stab mod method. A flathead screwdriver that would fit in the stab stem inner hole, an X-Acto knife with a 30 degree tip angle, stabilizer parts, Lube of choice, here I use Crytox 205.0, a syringe, preferably with a flat needle tip filled with lube of choice, and a brush. So let's start. First step is to cut the sides of the thin film which is attached to the inner wall of the stab stem. To do that, insert your X-Acto knife from the side of the stem with one hole and use the inner wall of the stab stem as a guide to slide it against it to detach the film from the wall. Here's a close up so that you can see it better. This is where the film is and you want to approach your knife from the side of the stem where there is one hole or to more precise, the opposite side of where the stab wire goes in. Slide the knife against the wall using it as a guide and make sure you cut all the way down to the base where the film is attached. But do not, I repeat, do not cut the film from the base. Do the same for the other side of the film. Second step is to fold the film towards the back where you inserted the knife to cut the film sides. Insert your flathead screwdriver gently and fold the film towards the back side and firmly press down on the film so that it is properly folded. Although it has been folded, the film will slightly rise up, which will eventually provide support for the stab wire once it's in the proper position. If you've done it properly, it should look something like this. This is what it would look like when it's compared to an unmodded stem. You can clearly see that the film has been disconnected to the side of the inner wall of the stem. And looking from the side, it is a little harder to see, but you can still see the bent film through the plastic. Repeat once more. Cut the film sides, gently fold the film, and firmly press.
Now for the third part, lubing. Here I use Crytox 205 grade zero, but you may use any lube of your choice. Using a syringe filled with lube, approach from the backside of the stab stem and place enough lube to plug the hole. And do the same for the other one. As a precaution, you don't want to use lube that is too runny. You want to use lube that is thick enough that it will stay in place. Now for the stab housing. Place a generous amount of lube where the stab wire goes and some on the area where the stab stem and the housing slides against each other. Use a brush to evenly spread the lube in the housing. Do the same for the other side. Here, this is how it should look like when you're done applying lube to the stab housing. Put the stab stem into the housing, but make sure that you place it in the right direction. Look at the housing bottom and stem feet to figure out the proper direction. and insert the stem into the housing. Do the same for the other side. Now to insert the stab wire. It is important to note that the wire should be inserted at an angle. To do so, lift the stem a little and insert the wire in the stem at an angle to avoid breaking the film. Once the wire is in the stem hole, snap the wire into the housing. Do the same for the other side as well.
check the stab to see if both sides slide up and down properly. Lastly, brush the excess lube near the angled wire so that it goes into the area where the stab housing clamps the wire. Once you're done assembling all your stabs, plate, switches, case, and keycaps, your mods would sound something like this. Well, there you have it guys, the Korean or Kenyan stab mod method. I hope this tutorial helps, and if it did, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more keyboard related content. Thank you!